Welcome to Charts This Week. My name is David Linton. I run Updata, and this week we're going to take a look at uh, stock markets. We'll look at some currencies, and we'll finish off with some commodities. We've got quite a few charts to get through. Um, looking at the S&P 500, this is our weekly chart. Remember, this is our roadmap. It's given fabulous signals over the last 10 years. It told you to sell in 2000. It told you to buy in 2003. It told you to sell in 2008. And it's been late as a signal because of this V-shaped recovery. But we are now in the bullish zone on stock markets. We do have a lot of scope here to actually wander sideways or even fall back. But we do have very strong support building at this 1050 level and then at, at, a, at a thousand points on the S&P and we could fall all the way back into the 900 area and we'd still be pulling back finding support in a bullish territory. It may not be a great year for stocks because we might go sideways now having broken through the cloud but the longer term picture is quite good now that we've broken through this cloud uh, in, in recent weeks and months. The daily chart, we had a, a real wobble in the last few weeks, but really we only had one very small breach here, and this is a bit of an art where you have to give some countenance to it, and, and the fact that we've now recovered back through the cloud, we're bullish, the price really does need to get back above this 1100, 1130 level, um, we're you know, above 1100 now, but we need to really get in back, and 1150 we saw that there is quite strong resistance, so we wouldn't be surprised to see 1150 acting on the market. If we if we do manage to go higher, the the, the point and figure targets are, 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 are very interesting. Here we have the the DAX. Um, it's it's much the same looking on all markets. We've now put in a, a downside target on most markets because of the deterioration we had in the last few weeks. The DAX we've got a downside target of four six. 50, but that is counter trend. We still do have upside targets to 660, 6,600, and 7,150. So the picture is still up, but we do have suddenly, for the first time, a downside target. But markets generally are looking like we might have a bit of a sideways range with these conflicting targets. Currencies, well, what a week. I mean, the euro just continues to fall last week. Remember, it's all about this first thrust. That's what gives us the target. We've had that first thrust, we've had a little pullback, and then a lower low, the Dow theory, kicking in, which is now pointing back to the bottom of the range. The point and figure target is 126. The base of this range is 125. We've, we've nudged the 135 level last week, only uh, 10 cents to go, but you know, it's half done this move. Um, how much longer it will take is harder to say, but it's still a pretty bearish uh, picture for the euro. And if we look at the 60 minute chart, we have had some um, very brief recoveries, but really for several weeks now, it's been below this cloud, it's been bearish. We've probably had a little bit of a consolidation range recently, but don't be surprised to see that kicking lower again and, and making new lows. And then if we look at the one minute chart, remember this is the chart that's going to change on your desktop in real time. And so uh, you really need to keep a very close eye on these. We did have our downside targets that we met. We had a little upside target given last week of 136.70, which we've got near. We've got this 131.20 as our sort of shorter term intermediate target hanging over us. If we make new lows, the 131 area is where we'd expect to go. And here, just um, fascinating things that are happening in currencies. This is the, uh, the, the British pound and the Australian dollar. So the Aussie dollar last week broke to new lows for sterling against the dollar. Really quite key here. So um, it's, it's, it's definitely very interesting that we've broken to these new levels uh, on, on uh, the Aussie dollar. The target of 171 was given way back at 230 about a year ago. And that's where we are now. It's quite un uncanny the way these targets targets can be met. So really quite key that we've um, broken to this level on the, on, the, on, the, on the dollar. Now we're through this 173 level, it was really key. We're looking at targets of 144, 145. We get different targets pointing to that. So the Aussie dollar strength is looking really like it's really there. Now I can't go very far this week without talking about oil. Um, we had a real stress point test last week where we, were we going to break lower? Were we going to get that close below $70? That was really 
really the key on oil and the fact was that we didn't we've now broken higher we're nudging all the way back to eighty dollars we're at 79.85 this morning we have been higher 84 is the high that we need to break to break out of this range convincingly remember we've got upside targets to 110 120 dollars but there's a lot of resistance at 90 and of course this 84 dollar mark the previous high that we saw in january is going to weigh quite heavily on us and of course from the downside point of view we do have to worry with the close still below 70 and 69 that interest 69 and a half was that intraday level and and now we've got quite clear support levels at about $75 we'd want to see oil hold on to that $75 mark and here we look at the hourly uh, Ichimoku chart we see the hourly cloud touches on the cloud last week really really quite key that this previous level of about $77.5 $78 is becoming like a, uh, what was previous a resistance and ceiling that's now becoming support for oil and we've got levels now where we'd cross this cloud at around $78 so we need to to hang on to these gains and to keep running up this hill but it's you can't dispute now that oil looks bullish again and the short-term picture is quite bullish for the week and if we look at the upside targets, this is a one minute chart. Remember this chart changes very dramatically. 78 was the target was given, 78.80 was the target then given and met. Very clear trend support here. $80.90 on WTI this week is, is the target. 81.40, we've got an upside target. These are uninterrupted buying thrusts that are giving us these target levels. So it's all up at the moment, but this chart can change very, very quickly. And I've been asked to look at emissions quite a few. Remember, I'm always happy to look at any charts you want. Uh, straight away from the emissions, it looks very similar to a German power chart. The one thing that we see here is that the way that we've actually based, we're just falling slightly on this base. It is trading sideways, and this sideways trading motion does mean that it's going to be quite difficult to trade emissions short term because of the range. If we go into a 60 minute chart, we see this range and we've got resistance at 1380 and support at at about 12.50 so we're trading in this range one would hope that we've found support again at the end of last week and now we might kick up to go to the higher range but this is a difficult one to trade because of this range no real direction in the chart makes it difficult short term point and figure targets might be a solution there Nord pool was another one that I've been asked to look at uh, Nordic power quite interesting we saw downside targets that were that were met this is a bullish chart we've got nice support we might hit resistance from the all-time high soon but we were given targets at the end of last year of 45.50 when uh, we we're at 40 we there was another five um, there and we've got 40 uh, 50 and 45 50 40 50 met 45 50 is now very very close to being met so Nordic power is a bullish chart very different from uh, German power and here we see the Nordic power market breaking out we've gapped in the last few days and this is really quite key now this is a 60 minute chart uh, we're in out of this range the move, the move the rule is the run into the pattern the move of the pattern and then we should run higher it's hard to see big upside targets on power because there aren't any at the moment but the short term term point and figure charts are the one to watch. A quick look at gas, uh, this is NBP within day, um, the, the 60 minute chart breaking lower this morning, this is Monday morning breaking lower, so gas is not, gonna, is not looking like it's going to have a great week whilst it's below this 34 mark and we would expect to get back to the 33 area that was tested um, earlier in, in, last in the year. And then we've got downside targets here on gas, the 34 uh, was met, that was given back at 37 we now had 32 20 31 70 we've still got downward pressure on gas and it, you'd have to say that at the moment you'd be looking for downside targets again it's a one minute point and figure chart it is going to change pretty quickly now that's it for this week until next week happy charting see you then